to watch. They're going to come saying stuff. They know their position. They know what their function is. And they're going to kind of lay out into, you know, the, the perfect scenario. Now, granted, some of these things are, are by a pool or somewhere, but they're going to try and figure out this format, like the triangle, like Dr. Antevi said. All right, guys, come on in. So that's the metronome you hear running in the background. One ML, shocks are at 50. Baby, baby, baby. I know it's 1.5. All right, I got no phone for inside CPR. We have a one-year-old. Okay, good. So you'll see he strategically placed his medications down here because he's going to be working on the IO and the distal femur area. Okay. Yvonne put the monitor over on that side to stay out of his way specifically. But you'll see at the two-minute mark that they're going to swap back and forth between compressions. So you'll see him reach over to grab the monitor. You'll see her reach over to grab this back. That's very common for them. Up at the airway, you have two Stop. people working on the airway. Clear. They're in. Yes, Stop. Continue. Probably five seconds off the chest at best. She had the monitor charged though, ready to shock. That way, if no shock, she dumps the charge. If their shock was clickable, she would have went ahead and shot. Up at the airway, he's giving breath. He's giving one breath every six seconds. When you talk about ventilations, remember, when somebody's pushing down for chest compression, if you squeeze the bag the same time they push down, no air, you're meeting collision. So you really have to time the ventilations on the upstroke. I don't know if AHA told you that, but you need to think like that. And I don't care if you put a tube in somebody or not. When you have someone pushing on the chest, the lungs are expelling air, air is trying to go in, you have a traffic jam. Okay, so one person's controlling the ventilation that once every six seconds, you have one preparing the eye gel to go in. I thank you. And then Yvonne went ahead and did the I.O. Now you'll see the I.O. down low in the tibial tuberosity, but essentially what you're going to see is us putting in the femur. Uh, easy I.O. Teleflex endorses the femur for 200 pediatric. compressions. It's a much easier bone for us to hit, and the flow rate is 3 to 1. Okay. Pause compression. Okay, stop. Continue. Now there's the swap. So she swaps over, she starts the chest compressions, he picks up where she left off, which is going to be the first dose of epinephrine. The key is he knows the dose of epinephrine. He rolled into this house because he heard the age over the radio. So he's already folded up on the app, he has it on the app, and now he's going to go ahead and administer the drug. Ventilation, eye gel is secure. You're going to see when the eye gel comes in, it's going to have a strap over top of it. For the eye gel to work appropriately, they have to have downward pressure on the eye gel. If, if, remember, this is not an endotracheal tube that sits with a cuff inside the trachea. When you do chest compressions, you will dislodge that tube if you don't have inward pressure on it. So when they take the strap off and they're not 100% sure if they're going to intubate or they're prepping their stuff, you're not getting good ventilation. So if you're going to intubate, save that pulling the strap off to the very, very last second until you're ready to go. Any questions about this? And that's it. They'll stay in this triangle and they'll work. One person's focused on ventilations, and the other person is going to be over here doing drugs until it's his turn to change compressions. Now, they're going to be fatigued. They're going to be tired when they get there for the most part, right? Especially if we don't have the Lucas. You got to on board? Lucas, on board. age break is around 12 years old. Anything under the age of 12 is probably not going to adjust to the chest. Yeah. That's the last time uh, that you Happy uh, was given about three minutes ago. We also we have an IO established. Uh, size 1.5 I gels in place. Uh, we're getting good fat compliance on it. The entitled CO2 is uh, at about 10 centimeters. Ready? Okay. Have you reached for two minutes? Two. Go. Okay. All right, let's go. Coming on the monitor. Coming on the monitor. It's been three minutes since the last happy. All right. All right. Compressions. Pulse check. 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 Pulse